Good morning everyone, it's 4.30am and I have my flight in around 4 hours. I have to take the train to Stansted, which is annoying, and my train leaves in like 45 minutes, so let's go, let's pack, and I'm gonna wear multiple layers to the airport so I can get more baggage onto the plane. So, the only problem is, it's a 5 day holiday, but that means I'm taking this and no suitcase. And that's what you get with a five pound flight. No baggage. Am I fully packed? Not at all. Is my bag fully packed? Clearly it is. So I've arrived at the airport. I need to basically take a bus to the terminal. I'm off to Denmark, my first stop. So I've got basically a budget of 800 pounds for the whole trip. That's my max I would spend. What I'm looking to spend is around £300, including flights, including hotels. So I've arrived at departures. I'm literally praying the security queue isn't that long. I've just landed in Denmark. The weather is literally the same as in England. Like, you can't feel the difference. But I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm not even joking. I'm not even in like a town. No, I'm in like a village. But that is cool. There's a wildlife park and I'm excited to visit that. So I've arrived. Well, one night. Yes. Just today in. <laughs> So I've arrived. The room is really, really small, like unbelievably small. Um, I'm staying here for one night. It is gonna be fun. I have found the supermarket, which is convenient. So I've cashed out like 100 kron, um, which is like 10 pounds. And I'm gonna splurge it here because I'm really, really starving and I need food. So my plan now is to go in the city center. Somehow get there by tram. Tomorrow evening, I'm leaving this place and going to Poland. So I've just had a day in the local city. The weirdest experience just happened. Like, I'm not even joking. It was so weird. Good morning, everyone. It is day two in Denmark. I'm actually now going to the city because I've got a night flight and it's only two o'clock. So I've got a bit of time to kill, but hopefully I don't miss my bus to the airport. <laughs> Okay, but I'm sorry, this is the best airport. Look at the lounge. It is so big and so nice. What the hell? This is such a nice lounge and it's free. It is literally freezing. I am freezing to death. To like the city it's giving me like there's like quite a few skyscrapers um so i'm just gonna have a little walk around and see if there's anything here it's midnight so it is 1 a.m i'm in poland in my hotel for the night i need to wake up at 4 a.m to catch the next flight to austria i've been in like the city center of poland i've literally just been exploring the whole the whole area and it looks pretty cool i love the skyscrapers Sadly, I won't get to be here during the day, but that does leave me two days in Austria. Good morning, everyone. It's a day in Poland. I'm so tired because it's like 5 a.m. and it's fully bright, bright outside. Like, and I've got my flight in a couple of hours. So I was meant to get the taxi like 20 minutes ago. I don't know if the taxi guy's still out there. Well, the taxi isn't here, so I've just called a bolt and that's a lot cheaper, thankfully. It's only like 20 Polish currency. Well, my bolt driver just canceled on me. Now I have to get an Uber. Jim. I've made it to the airport. I'm two hours early, so that's all right. I'm, I'm literally starving. I've made it to the gate. 
the plane isn't even here yet, so what was I expecting from from Ryanair? I have just arrived at Vienna in Austria. Now I just need to get to Vienna itself. And I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but hopefully it's not too far. So what I'm noticing is that I haven't actually had to get my passport out. Like, they haven't been checking my passport. All they need is my boarding pass, which is quite weird because the UK is so strict. Whereas here, I'm literally just walking into the country without a passport. So I've just had to take a bit of money out from the ATM just to pay for the hotel. I think it's 25 euros, which is not that bad for one night. Didn't manage to find a spa, which is sad, but I do have this amazing city to explore. It looks, it literally looks incredible. Like, it, it looks so nice. We walk through and we go up the stairs. Like, look how nice it looks. Hey everyone, so it is midnight um, and I'm literally roaming around the streets about to get on a scooter because you know what? Life is life, you live young and um, yeah, I'm just gonna ride around the town and see what there is and then I've got a flight tomorrow morning at 7am so not looking forward to that but I am looking forward to that because I'm going to Venice so yeah so I've made it to the lounge. Oh, it's so nice, it's so much better than the English lounges. So I'm about to board the plane for Venice. It's so strange because literally they don't even check the passports. So it turns out my plane isn't Ryanair, it's like some other other one. And I got scared because I thought I was boarding the wrong plane, but I'm off to Venice I guess now. So I've gotten out of the airport and once again, no passport checks. So um, it's time to go to the hotel and then I'm gonna go to Venice. I have just checked in and oh my God, it was a battle to check in because I'm under 18. Uh, they were like, no, you're not allowed. No, no, no. But, oh my God, that was such a battle. And finally I've checked a little bit of persuasion. and I'm about to leave uh, Venice and I'm gonna miss the city because it was amazing. I'm so tired.